Hey guys, I'm finally back with the long overdue video. I know a lot of you have been wondering what happened to me. Um, some of you probably thought maybe uh, I gave up on YouTube or maybe I got the COVID. And to be honest, I've, I've really just been busy with a lot of things outside of YouTube, a lot of other uh, work related things. And to make matters worse, the transmission on my truck actually gave out on me. That's my Nissan hard body pickup. I um, been trying to replace it for the last three weeks and it's been an ongoing project and I wanted to document it all but but to be honest um, I've never replaced the transmission before so this is actually a brand new experience for me and and also because like I said this is my daily driver I want to get this replaced as soon as possible so I didn't really have time to film it all for YouTube just because it takes me about three times as long to do a project on YouTube as it would if I'm just steadily focused on actually getting the project done. So I, I just figured this one, I'll let this be a learning curve for me because I have a lot of other projects coming up that I did want to document that involves either replacing the transmission or replacing the clutch and flywheel for future power upgrades. So this this is just a learning learning experience for me so I can get ready to do those projects. Right now I'm a little bit more than halfway on this project. I've got I got my replacement transmission right here and I've already got everything replaced on it. I've replaced the replaced the throw out bearing, replaced the got a new poly bushing, new clutch, new flywheel, got all that stuff put in. This transmission's basically ready to go go back in um, also took the time to get it all cleaned up so I've, and I've been actually been spent a lot of time underneath the truck because this truck's about 20 it's 27 years old so it's got a lot of gunk and that I've been wanting to get a lot of that cleaned up while I have everything taken apart so that's been taking a lot of extra time as well but um, I'm, I'm getting close to the end of this project and then things will get back to normal and just to let you guys know what, what kind of things you can expect in the future, I will be moving forward with the 300ZX, starting with getting the Nismo LMG T2 wheels redone. I'm gonna get still going to get those converted to three-piece, which I should be sending off this month. And also, um, I'll get some tires put on those and get the wheels mounted. And the Nissan hard body is going to get a semi restoration. I've already replaced a lot of parts on it, like the suspension parts, but I um, also want to get tackle, start tackling the interior. The interior is not too bad, but I do need to replace the carpet and a few worn out panels. Maybe put some new seat belts in there. The seat belts are just they've had a, they've had a long life and they're just starting to show their age. But um, I also got some Lego sets for those of you that like the Dom's charger build. I got two Star Wars sets that I'm going to build and I also got a Lego Technic set that, that you'll probably like just as much as Dom's Charger if not more. So all that stuff's going to be coming up for you guys that like four wheel drive. I did get a new vehicle. I'm not going to say what it is yet but uh, I think you'll like it and I'll be covering that in the near future. I did get one video made right before I started working on the truck and I think that's something that you 350Z guys will appreciate especially if you're trying to make some quick repairs it'll make things a little easier for you but but uh, I got a lot of stuff coming up just stay tuned and just bear with me while I get through this this project that I gotta take care of like right now but uh, a lot of stuff should be coming up pretty soon if you guys have anything that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to try to accommodate you. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.